So it looks like the trend of these washed up IG vixens getting themselves pregnant by young athletes is not slowing down no time soon because Future's baby mama, Joy Chavis, just announced that she's having a baby with Trayvon Diggs. And a lot of people, including Future himself, are not here for that. Aside from the disturbing huge age gap between her and Trayvon, a lot of people just aren't here for it because she got herself pregnant by him only because she wants to dress him to court to collect that child support like she did with Future and Bow Wow. People feel like she's a gold digger and she's only using these men for their money. Like I said a million times before, she already has kids with Bow Wow and Future, both of whom are very well-known millionaires. And it's been reported that they pay her thousands of dollars a month in child support. She has a daughter with Bow Wow named Shay and a son named Hendrix with Future. Now going back to Trayvon, him and Joy sparked dating rumors in 2022 when he was only 23 and she was 34. Trayvon posted a video of her on his IG stories with a heart eye emojis and a birthday cake in celebration of her 34th birthday. Just a month after this, the rumors of them were pretty much confirmed when she attended a Cowboys game to support him. She posted a picture of herself at the game proudly holding a cup with Trayvon's face on it. They took things to a whole different level in 2023 when they were spotted on vacation together following the Cowboys' elimination from the playoffs. They were seen having breakfast together, riding horses, and generally having a really good time. One thing about Joy, she stays where the money resides. Now back in September, Trayvon suffered an ACL injury in his left knee during practice. The injury marked the rest of his season and he underwent surgery for the tear in October. Immediately after recovering, Joy was there to show him support. Trayvon shared a video of the hospital visit to a Shore fans that the surgery went really well. After this, they got very loud about their relationship. Trayvon even went as far as surprising Joy with the new Rolls Royce for Christmas, which she posted on her Instagram story with the caption, Christmas came early this year. A few days later, they were spotted at a basketball game between the Lakers and the Mavericks, and they later went on a dinner date when the game ended. Now fast forward to a few days ago, Joy sent the entire internet into a frenzy when she announced that she was pregnant with Trayvon's fourth kid. This is going to be his first kid with Joy, but he already has three other kids from different women. Joy showed off her baby bump while rocking a bikini, even though she didn't specifically mention who the baby daddy was, it wasn't that hard to piece things together, considering the fact that she and Trayvon had been going strong for a minute. But some people were congratulating her, like this person who said, three kids by three different men and all three are millionaires. You go, girl. Girl. Others were not here for this and accused her of preying on Trayvon, who is over 10 years younger than she is. Now, just for context, when Trayvon was 10, Joy was 20, pushing 21. I don't really know what y'all think, but it seems to me she only let him hit raw and put a baby in it because of his money, nothing else. Another person said, getting pregnant by multiple people or getting pregnant by multiple people who has money is still tacky. Bring back shame, please. Some people even even went as far as to claiming that she and Drea are the same. Now, if you remember, Drea also just received a lot of backlash a couple days ago when she announced that she was pregnant with Jalen Green's baby. She's 39 and Jalen is just 21. That's an 18 year age gap. As if that wasn't already disgusting enough, Jalen is the exact same age as Drea's son, Nico. Yeah, her son and her baby daddy are the same age. I mean, come on. Now, this is where things get even more interesting because after after the news of Joy being pregnant hit the streets and people started dragging her, a lot of people couldn't help but wonder what Future would have to say about it, since she is the mother of his son. Not only that, but people did a little digging and found an audio recording of 2021 where Future put Joy on blast and claimed that he never actually loved her while they were together. He said whatever he felt for her never exceeded friendship and that he never actually felt anything close to love for Joy. The audio was uploaded by Future's other baby mama, Brittany, after Future got her IG account deleted. Somebody that girl just never look at them the same way like I don't look at them. I don't look at Joy somebody like I look, look at you. Joy was me and Joy have always been friends, super cool. Like people don't even know that me and her was just always been super cool to the point where we still could be cool right now. To I don't look at her like somebody I love. I never loved her like that. She know that I never loved her. I never been like told her I love you. 
You know what I'm saying? I never talked to this girl. I never talked to Joy. I love you, but we had a good ass friendship. You know what I mean? I ain't never said I love her like that. I love you. I love you. Now, when it comes to Joy getting herself pregnant by Trayvon, Future hasn't publicly said anything just yet. But according to some anonymous sources, he's not surprised and believes she's for the streets anyway, so this is very on brand. As for Trayvon, he didn't directly react to the pregnancy announcement, but he got into a heated exchange with Cameron and Mace after they put him on blast for going for another man's leftovers. They said he was way too young to be having all these kids and multiple baby mamas it's just me i've never really been in the leftovers i just never yeah. really been into leftovers i don't like thanksgiving on sunday i'm just not into that you know i don't I, you can't go from filet mignon to, to to tuna fish now don't get me wrong you may not want filet mignon every night like me, I can have a steak every night, but I want a bologna sandwich every once in a while. That's just me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, I ain't into that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's you ain't me. into that. I ain't into that, man. That's so that's that's why that's why I'm saying with that, I get an opinion. But once you got Bow Wow and Future, and you don't know who she dated, this is just the babies. I can't get with that publicly on that level. Because it's it's, 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 a, it's a celebrity thing, like. Da, 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 da. But Trayvon was not here for them comments and for them being all up in his business and being age shamed, and he went off on them for being so concerned by what he's got going on when he's way younger and more successful than them. He said, "You like fifty mentioning me on your platform? Get off my D. I was five when you was rapping. Ain't no way you speaking on me right now." So as y'all can see, Trayvon is really out here ready to throw hands with anybody that has something to say about him and his baby mama. If I was Future, I would keep my opinion on this to myself because Trayvon is already not handling the criticism very well. As usual, people had their own two cents to give on this whole drama and they did not hold back. One person said, these guys have all the access in the world and keep dealing with this small circle of women. To all you rappers and athletes and entertainers, there are almost 8 billion people on earth. All these countries countries and all these ladies on this planet. Open your horizons. Another person said, Diggs was 10 when Joy was old enough to smoke, drink, and have a career. Don't make old jokes when you're already the butt of that joke, lol. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Future slamming Joy for getting pregnant by a 25 year old? And do y'all think Trayvon made a huge mistake for picking Joy? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.